Hello everyone, in this tutorial, I will be showing you how to use the audio stream player in Godot 4. Before we get started, let's quickly go over the difference between an audio stream player and an audio stream player 2D. With the audio stream player 2D, there is a source of the sound. It is coming from somewhere. So for, for example, if I were to autoplay this, disable this, the camera is to the right. So it'll play in our left ear. You can hear it over here. And if I move the camera, it'll play over here. So as you can probably could tell, this isn't very good for background music, but can be good if you want music emitting from some in-game speaker. To get around this issue and go with a background sound, you can use an audio stream player. This will be non-dimensionally dependent. It will play wherever at equal volume. So, now that you understand the difference, let's get into the rest of the tutorial. For background music, let's add an audio stream player. Let's add in our song as either an MP3 or a dot wave. Your sound decibel is, you guessed it, your volume. So let's set this to negative 10, and I'll show you how to change this in a second. If you press playing, it'll play in the editor. If you press stream pause, it'll pause it. If you press autoplay, it'll play on start. Now let's go over to the scripting. Create new script. Let's reference our audio stream player. In here, we can set it to play if we don't want to press autoplay. So autoplay false. If we want to loop it, it's carbon on finished signal. And here, we will simply put play. Now it'll loop. Now for the volume. Let's create a new variable, just call it volume, set that to negative temp for now. Now you can set this volume dB, however there is a more elegant way to do it. Go to our ready function, reference our audio server, dot set bus volume dB from zero to our volume. Now, if we reset this, it'll be at the same volume. And if we crank it down, it'll be a little bit quieter. I've added an input map for a pause button. We can use that pause button to pause. So if input is actually just press pause, we'll get our ASP dot stream pause. We'll get the not ASP dot stream pause. So just the opposite. This will toggle. If I pause, it'll stop, and if I press again, it'll continue. Now for a sound effect, let's add in audio stream player 2D. You can decide where to put that. I'll just call it sound for now. Let's put it somewhere over here. Add in your MP3, set the volume, and we will not be doing any autoplay. If we go over here, I have added in a input map for a sound effect button. So it's action, SFX. We will reference our sound and we will just do sound dot play. Now, if you press play, we have our music and our sound effect. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.